This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Rebel Salute 2024, January 19 and 20 in Priory St. Anne. For tickets and info, visit their website, rebelsalute.com. Racked up millions of views we, move. in socials we, we, move. as it wins fans around the world. Oogie, oogie, cheeky, cheeky, windy, windy. Including we, we, move. We, move. superstar Jennifer Lopez. I flames. Hey, oh, the dancing box. But who is this artist? He goes by the name Baby Lad and comes to our stage to tell. In 2005, Innocent Crew recorded and released a track that at that time seemed to have fallen on deaf ears. But right now, said track is blazing throughout the dancehall space. Crazy the thing that a man can't hurt. Singing Melody brings a track that he believes can help bridge the divide between the sexes and improve relationships. He comes to share right here on our stage. Who is Nikki Hype? What we already know is that she's Canadian based and traveled all the way from that country to appear at Sting 2023. But in what capacity? Nikki Hype will be here to answer. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. On Stage with Winford Williams. This segment of On Stage is brought to you in part by Campari. Respect the bitter. Who is Nikki Hype? For starters, she's Canadian based and traveled all the way from that country to appear at Sting 2023. You know, I'm your girl, Nikki Hype, the right type representing international out of Toronto, Canada. That's where I'm from, but I was born here in Jamaica, so I don't feel no way, right? The big question is, in what capacity did she come to appear at Sting? Well, she's right here, right now on our stage. Nikki Hype. It's a Nikki. pleasure to be here. <laughs> Finally, the grace with your presence. Thank oh, you for having me. Oh, it's good to have you. It's good <laughs> to have you. Well, you know, you can't keep people in suspense anymore. Uh -huh. Just tell them why you were at Sting. Those who weren't at Sting. Why was that Sting right there? They don't want to know who I am first. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> yes. Then we'll get to that. But why were you at I Sting? I was at Sting being one of the MC, of course. Yes. And being the second year, they called me back the second year to be there. I was excited to just present myself and do what I do best, which is hosting, MCing, and calling on the artists. And it was an amazing time. And I'm also a fashionista, so... My outfit, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so now you're fully stung. <laughs> Seems like you have to keep coming. I have to keep coming. I have to keep coming. I mean, having Sting under my belt two years in a row. Yes. And working for over three hours on stage, I think I've broken down some barriers. Yes. And I'm using those stones as stepping stones to get to my next level. You mm -hmm. know, you know the, the haters and the, the supporters are there. So with all, it's a balance. So did you work with any other, with, well, did you introduce any other clashes? No. Oh, last I did, year? I did not. In, or this year? Did not, no, last year nor this year. What I did was call on a few artists in the early out. Me and Trevor worked together as well. And um, yeah, just, you know, Makadam was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It was, my segment was a female segment. So I had Angel, Queen Nikki. Danger. So my segment was a female segment calling him out on stage. And, you know, I also had suspense. She killed it on Sting. Amazing performer. I loved her. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the females did well. They came out to work and they did an awesome job. Okay. So how interested are, are Canadians or the community in Canada? Let me start there. Wow. And yes, you can talk about the wider Canada in a, an event like Sting. Um, well, being, you know, Toronto's MC 
and hosting different events in Toronto, in our dance community, when they hear that I'm going to be on Sting, they start to buy up their, you know, views or, you know, whatever they need to download to find out where I'm going to be at. And they're active. Yeah. They're very active in the culture. You know, I'm a part of their dance community and they're supporting me. Mm -hmm. And obviously, in that community, you have the haters. <laughs> and you have the supporters. Okay, so, so go into your background <laughs> in dance hall for us, quickly. I've been an MC and hosting for 20 years, you know, just hosting parties and most of the big stage shows in Toronto and, you know, in the GTA. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just doing what I love, mm -hmm. which is that. Yeah, I mean, and now yes. I am here on stage <laughs> and, you know. Yes. Well, you, you guys, you know, we, we always have to respect and love what you do because we have to connect through you quite often what, with our community. Right. And that you keep us now in Jamaica aware of what's going on over on that side. That is it. It's a critical part of our global community as Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. We're the mediator, so, yes. you know, so we so, communicate with what's going on in our dance on, community. Yeah with the artists, with the DJs, okay. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, the experience overall for you at Sting this year, your, your call on it, <laughs> what do you tell your, your following in Canada? Do you know what? Sting was buzzing. Sting was stinging. I mean, it wouldn't be Sting if we didn't have a little bit of excitement and a little bit of controversy, but Sting was amazing. I am honored to be on such a platform. Sting is known to be one of the one night greatest dance hall show there is on earth. And that was the 40th year. So to be a part of that whole entire um, production is an honor for me. Like, and I would do Sting again. And I would encourage everybody to support the culture and support Sting. Because Sting is where most of us get our boss. No so I go, right? So as an MC, a host, I mean, being second year, I get my boss. My boss, no. <laughs> my boss, yeah, my boss. And it's a platform for a lot of the artists to showcase their talent mm -hmm. and um, for the world to see them because Sting is not just only showcased in Jamaica. It's broadcast to the entire world, yes. right? And showcase new talents and also with the veterans. There's a lot of veterans that were there. And I, I think the, the people of Portmore... Jam World, they loved it. They enjoyed the segment. They were having the time of their lives. From my perspective, my view, um, they were really celebrating bringing back Sting home to Jam World and in Portmore. And it was an amazing feeling to be a part of all of that. And where is the dance hall now in Canada? Dance hall, they always say Canada is behind. You know, it was slow, but that's no more. We are on top of our game. All the artists are coming there to perform. Um, promoters are spending a lot of money bringing in these artists from Jamaica or wherever they're from, wherever they're staying, to come and entertain in our dancehall culture. And um, the only problem we have, we don't have venues. Right. Big I, enough. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Because I know that has been a problem for a long time. Problem for a long time because there's a no smoking um, protocols in our in our buildings mm -hmm. and uh, so a lot of the venue owners don't want to rent the promoters the place the mm -hmm. you know or they do with a very high cost like we're paying 20,000 US for a venue mm -hmm. that has nothing in there and then you got to fix it up to create that ambiance and you know set up and all that so the biggest problem we have is finding a venue to hold the capacity uh, you know when we have artists coming up from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is there a, an organized group trying to make a difference in where that is concerned? Trying you to know, lobby for more support, more Every venues. time we say it, and we say we're going to do it, but you know, too much rat never dig a cold oil. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we talk about doing such a thing, you know, creating a, a space where we can have, you know, all these events at, but it's in a working process. Mm -hmm. I have hope that it'll come through. All right, Nikki. Yes. Well, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Keep the hype going, my dear, no matter always, what. Always, always. The okay. right type. So we look forward to your sting. <laughs> now you're connected, you're stung. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Leng, obviously, and, and the entire production, Evie D, yes. my manager, Heather, Heather Helliot. Love her, Madonna, my team Bonner. <laughs> yes. And my entire Toronto family. Thank you so much. Ah, bless you. Okay. Well, there you have her. Nikki Hype, right here on our stage. And still to come, 
The Breakdown 2 is a track re-recorded by Innocent Crew that finds love after 17 years. The crew's leader, Benzi Hype, will be here. Singing Melody brings Fragile, a track that he will not only chat, but also perform live, right here on our stage for all of us. And Baby Lord. You don't want to miss those. Coming up. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Rebel Salute 2024, January 19 and 20 in Priory St. Anne. For tickets and info, visit their website, rebelsalute.com. On stage with Winford Williams. In 2005, Innocent Crew recorded and released a track that at that time seemed to have fallen on deaf ears. In 2022, the group's leader, Bensley Hype, re-recorded said track, titled The Breakdown 2. The record is now one of the hottest tracks in the dance hall space. Bensley Hype joins us right now, right here on our stage to chat more about this incredible achievement in music. Bensley, sir. What's cracking? Good to have you, sir. Yep, yep. All right, so bef before we jump into your, your big success, sir, <laughs> just give us a quick synopsis on where you've been all these years. Oh, well, I've been, um, I've been here. Mm -hmm. But um, for the past seven years, um, my mom died. She had cancer and she died. And when she died, I kind of just took away, you know, stepped away from everything, from film, from music, from everything. I kind of, um, so this is the seventh year. I keep telling them this is the seventh year. Mm -hmm. So um, I just started to just work again. And I mean, um, I approached Sly when, a um, little before the pandemic, and I said, Sly, I want to release this whole, um, Lost tapes thing, innocent crew, the lost tapes. So the famous I Sly. Yeah, Sly. You know, me and Sly and Robbie have been working oh, yeah. since I was like 16 years old. So, and I produced, you know, I went in and I remixed some, produced some of the new stuff. I had Lost Tapes Part One, and this song that everybody's talking about now is on Lost Tapes Part Two. I'm sorry about your mom. You're losing yeah. your mom. Yeah, it was. Um, but why do you think that the track didn't find favor with with the space in, back in '05? Um. When I recorded the track originally, how it goes, like, I produced a song with Sly, because I do a lot of production with Sly as well. Yeah. So um, Sly said, yo, this track, and I took it, and I went to the studio, did all of that. But then when the record was released, there was uh, some problems with distribution and some little stuff, and I started to do more into film. Started mm -hmm. to do me and my crew and all that stuff. So because of that, the song was on every bus, man. You know, when they put out the song, and man, I was CD them, and every bus I want the tune, and it go on, but then, I started me and my crew and I kind of just shifted, you know what I mean? And that shift, um, you know, contributed to maybe not going where it was supposed to go. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's just the right time, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, um, yeah, it worked. And so, it's so, okay. So how do you feel about what's happening now? Could you have I, uh, seen that coming? And did you have the confidence, uh, no, this track ought to be better than... Winford, than, tell yes. the truth, Winford is like I just went in and I said, something's gonna happen. And I said, all right, this song, mm, okay, next. Let me tell you a joke. The fact of the matter is, I was on a plane coming from Canada and I landed at the airport and this fan came out to me, oh God, Ben's the oh God. Yo, I love this song, the break, what are you doing? I was like, okay, cool. Oh, I just love this song here. And I said, yeah, man, respect. And thing, and thing, and him say, um, I do this dance that I do with my people at the hotel and I'm gonna send it to you on your page. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, it's kind of weird, but I mm -hmm. worked with it. Went to him and him sent me this thing, and I said, it's the breakdown. But I already had part one released. This was coming on part one. I said, ah, there's something about this song, you know. Let me just bring it out there some more. I did a little thing on TikTok, and TikTok took it and just went crazy. So from January, the song was trending on TikTok until these girls in Jamaica, Mimas and Nasia, some high school girls, one is 14, one is 15, they did this dance for it. 
Mm. And it, she, them did it in September. This was like the fourth trend. Because they had one, two, three, four. I said, this is the fourth trend, you know. And when they did the dance, Jamaicans start to take to it because it was trending in Africa before, you know. Okay. It's just people in Jamaica start go to it. No, it was in Africa, it was in China. Not in Japan, it was in China. It was in Russia. A lot of people don't know that the song's been trending since January. And when I saw that happening in January, I said, huh? America should have been there for this fast year, because something go yes. on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, all right. So let's take a little piece of the video right now. All right. <laughs> I, see, I see why the Africans they love it. Duh. The rhythm score, you know what I mean? Yeah, those yeah. drums, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say that um, the song has my little brother, Zimbu, he's intro the song. He's also in the song as well, Zimbu from Africa. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a movement. You know, Innocent Crew is a family, right? It's yes. like a bunch of cousins. And my brother came in and did the intro. That was his first song he ever put a vocal on. This is Zimbu from Africa, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and he put a verse on it as well. So, yeah, a good wow. vibe. So what's the impact? What can you tell us about the impact on your career, on your life? Oh, well, it has regenerated a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? A lot of regeneration has gone. Everybody, oh, Bensley, oh, crap, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I think when I did, in early December, I did the Dexter Up store, and Dexter went, big up Dexter anyway, the Dexter carried me across the island with him. And it's like a re, you know, rejuvenation. Everybody say, oh crap, oh you do look up on the stage, oh you the breakdown, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's a good vibe, it, you know what I mean? It needed that boost, right? And it made me come back, because I wanted to do stuff, and I said, right, this really helped me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I have to give thanks for that all the while, you know what I mean? Big up Dexter again, yeah. So you're highly motivated now to- Yeah, I, I, listen, I'll be very honest. I am very, once I make up my mind to do something, I just execute, that's how I am. I've yeah. always been that way. You know how, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's who I am. So once I made up my mind I was gonna do it, I just said, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. Figure it out, trial error, and then I execute. That's how I do it. And right now, there, I have an EP finish and my album finish. It was done before. So I have been preparing. As I said, it was the seventh year. Mm -hmm. And we in the seventh year now. No, actually, this is the eighth year. The seventh year done three days ago. <laughs> As I'm saying, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. yeah, so you know, the eighth is completion. So we're warring with them, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so we could call it a, a resurrection of exactly. all of you. Yeah. Movies. Everything is, everything on, everything is, on play. is in play right now. in play right now. Play right now. We are just booked in, we, in discussions with Kia from Kia. We've been talking about this stuff for a minute now. Mm -hmm. And um, we are prepared now to, in a couple of months, you're going to see what's going to be rolling out. You know what I mean? Right. So we were moving and we're working. And I have to big up the director of that video. Yo, Arif, Blue, yo, Bluezik, they had a vision. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, have the vision. And it came across wicked, you know what I mean? And Triple X, these people that saw in the video, they, they just came on set, you know. I just made a call and said, yo, I'm doing this thing, you know, bro, I need the help. Uh, and they just come on set, yeah. and they just did it for me, Triple X, nice. hot dog, they just come. Triple X took off him shirt, and I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And that's how I knew that it was something special. That showed me that it was something special. It was African drums, my friend. Yep. Nobody can resist Like, don't borrow the boss. Yeah. Yep. 
Listen. Wednesday Hype, sir. Blessed love. Pleasure. We like it. We love it. We like what's happening. Yeah. All the very best, sir. We look forward to others coming. Yeah, man. Dance all returns. All right. And there you have him, Bensley Hype. And still to come right here on our stage, singing Melody and Baby Lord. You don't want to miss those. Coming up. On Stage with Winford Williams. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Rebel Salute 2024, January 19 and 20 in Priory St. Anne. For tickets and info, visit their website, rebelsalute.com. His music racked up millions of views in socials. Including superstar Jennifer Lopez. Wow. But who is the artist? He goes by the name Baby Lord and comes to tell. Right now, right here on our stage. Lord, sir. Oh, God. Have mercy. Yeah, buddy, we'll go, you know. <laughs> I say, I go on, Congratulations. <laughs> I got that time, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all we can say. Because, you know, we have part one now. We focus the part two in magic work. Yes. You understand? So, we did call it, say, we on a journey of continuing working. Mm -hmm. Over the years, we never stop. You understand? You know, we'd have the LOL family now, 16. Yes. Yeah. 2017, we get awarded at YVAs. Uptown Mondays and get about 27 awarded for it. Mm. Yeah, we should have bring them, man. Tip it, tip it for bring the award. <laughs> well, now I was still working, but people was wondering, where was Baby Lord, yeah? Where Tough Alive, where the crew, where the dances at? Yeah. yeah, so I did start with that thing called Jiggy Woogie. No, Woogie Woogie. Because Woogie was the first dancing song with D Legend, them. Mm -hmm. Pick up D Legend. We did have problem with the dancing on the internet. Um, like, missing too much routine without no name calling about the dances, you understand? Yeah. So I would ask, inquire about a dance move, then tell me that that man made the dance move. But I said, why are they in a routine? It's supposed to be an independent, like, you know, I created this move, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like what you used to go back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you not like that now. Now it's routine. Mm -hmm. So I break it like this. Um, I want to pitch point each dancer and each dancer you do. You understand? This is where I'm coming jiggy woogie now. So I find, I use Bogle first as an example that a uh, legend. So I use film dance, start it, and all the jiggy jiggy woogie woogie with get the frenzy of the old time thing come back with the new thing. Yeah. Understand? So I use the new dance and with them a foreign and collide. That I deal legend them, collide with we, Kaka Eye Flames, um Gabidan, um Ding Dang, Tough Alai, myself, mm -hmm. LOL dance, and just make a one impact a massive move with that song. But the rhythm before <clears throat> that beat take me a month to find it, you know? The rhythm? Yes. Oh really? Cause I old school from the nineties. But when I heard it, I heard from a mix, like someone was doing something on it in the background. And I tried to check, I think it was Buster I'm singing that song, you know. What kind of Buster I'm singing? So I'm search again. Uh. I'm see the video about the man near me, they don't think I him sing it. So I go back again and see one little thing from TikTok. Yeah. And then my freestyle. So I'm going to boom, I done it down and see Mark Redman. I'm saying, okay, here's the rhythm, more. There's a story change, because I have the woogie woogie, jiggy jiggy, wedi wedi, already opposed in my brain. So I make the routine for the dancing, and I'm head already. Oh, I um, set them on position, who oh, for coming next. Says, high okay. flames, how oh, the dancing go? Movie and like a start limbo. Jelly high flames, how oh, the dancing go? Yeah. Movie and like a start limbo. Yeah. Tough a line, teach them now. All right, I like, introduce them to the dance hall. This is how it do, and this is how it That's why I call them in like that. I said, Ding, my feet for stir fry. Who know you, I'm joking. You don't understand it, kind of bring everybody to what's going on here. 
You understand? Slingshot is like everybody over the world feel welcome to, to the music. It's not a music selfish, it's a music like it's love and happiness, joy, everybody in it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the main focus coming from when we kick back and say mega try to find something new to do, to dance all and realize that more veteran things happen back then than now. You understand? More sound, greater sound back then than now. So back then sound, we that sound more impact with now, because the future needs something, stigma. I am the one who make people remix back on over these long time beat, you know. Mm. Taking back the old, putting the new engine and run it. Yeah, well, many of us have been calling for that when we saw, when new age dance all explode. Yeah. Among the younger generation. Yeah. And it wasn't doing very well offshore Jamaica. Yeah. It didn't have no old by visa. No, <laughs> it didn't have fly out at all. It didn't have weight. In, yes. It didn't so, have pump, no, it didn't have thump. So the call was out for, for what you're doing. Yeah. Even notice that none of them now get no achievement as back then. It's yes. like everybody blank their means now to go on out here. Yes. I mean, I said, no, that's not, that not possible. Something wrong, and this is what we do. I sit at a work. And the biggest is now in... So it's now pulling through the youths. Yes. And their sound. Yes. And that's how it should always work. Don't even let the wheel wedging. The, the platform is already set. Yes. It's already... Afrobeat is on it. Reggaeton is on it. I don't know. Uh, Hip hop was the first to get on it. So all that work that you were doing to get this off to happen, were you in your mind knowing that this is going to work the way it is? Yeah. Oh, you actually could see this happening? No, I mean, I mean, people ask how I'm mean, excited or I mean, feel a certain way. Because yes. I know what's going on, I know what to do. Yeah, and I say, you know, I can look at something and I say, oh, I just this thing for God, this thing for God, this thing, you know. Mm. I complete. But they might do it right, but they don't understand it. That is it, you know. Yes. They do it right, but they understand it of it. And they make pop song, you know, like song that come out. And people like them, but it's not a substance. Understand? Meaning it now, no, no, keep it going. Mm -hmm. Understand? Like me, you know, you let them have a song, like them sing, and them do a routine to it, but the song not saying what they do. Yes. Then just build a routine for the song. This is why um, the people them can get more connect and substance with that song, with a dancing with it. Uh -huh. Because when they do the dance to that song, it come with it. Then just do it on that song. And the lyrics them could have fit to what they're doing, the content and the lyrics that good. Mm -hmm. It's dirty, and when they want to do certain things, some people must see a dance to it, mm -hmm. and they dance them good. But why them take the good dance? They must do it for those type of music. Uh, okay, so yeah. yeah well, you know, Bridging, we congratulate you a lot for this because you're representing all away. When Jamaica, everybody just Jamaica. I'm feel so proud. Uh, you know, it's like my the flag, so. Absolutely. I walk. I never said Jamaica, I'm a lover, though. Yeah. Yeah, know it feels. So, so every man, every man and woman. In Jamaica, yeah. in so many um, fields of life, in so many things can represent and, and make us all proud. Yeah. And I, that's why we need to be more connected right. with Guaguan among our youths. Right, right. Don't leave, right, them, don't right. leave them out don't there. Don't leave them out there, like, you yeah. know, see what's well, going on. Yeah, because they're going to represent us whether we like it or not. Right. <laughs> In other words. Yeah, I think I'm you know. Yes, I. Right. What has this done to your goals in life? I mean, inspiration. Uh, first of all, I have to say, we got Mr. Waki, as yes, Bogle. Um, I'm coming from a stage that I really would really say suffering, mm. but I grew up in a rough, 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 rough time, like community, trying to find myself like this. This one I do is not really me, you know. It's pain, you understand? Sometimes me that find try to find a way to see how we can make things better. For people, not me. Yes. Yeah, come out with me love people, you understand? Me used to play a song. Yes, you were a sound system operator before. Yes, then I elevated to dancing. Yes. And when we used to dance in you know, me bogle. Yes. There's some reach to a level you no know, can make music. Yes. Yeah, so I'm more confident. I know what. So I'm are you more producing or or voicing? Both. Oh, You're like doing it. both. Me, the producer also. Yes. Yeah, Lee Inside Record. That is the record label. Um, MG Production is the next production that helped me. You know, you have Creative Music, and the and Mr. G. I have Kid Mac Music. I have a lot of production. One time, it never was this. Because you have you have your your own label, don't you? Yeah, ten years. Yes. Yeah, it I produce the, the LOL Chuck and the. All of the chat them that they hear. Um, easy, easy wine, easy wine, easy wine, 
Easy wine, call her instruction no. Sticky wine. Every girl. Yeah, I produce a lot of track for yeah. myself though. But I never really know the business like that. The uh, only thing I want to know the people and get my music. Okay. I never would have business about the cash. So in the end of uh -huh. the day, I never know about this um, Spotify or they, they do those things. You never know nothing about them. So mm. I just put out music. I want people to get them. More me hear them, that is my payback. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep working. So I hear yep. music. Um, I was here, you know, I wondering if this thing going to be something like mm. more bigger than what I expected. I was thinking about it. But I was thinking about getting Buster and the remix. Yes. Yeah, but since on my birthday, December the 19th, yeah, I was there having fun and thing, and I produced a kid, Mac. Um, I think he get a text from JLO, the management, said they want to be a, do a remix on the track. I'm like, cool, that sounds like something, you understand? Mm -hmm. But they make agreement, I think Kid Mac have more to elaborate about it, that is uh, management. Yeah, so um, I think they're organizing a meeting now so we can meet. Okay. Somewhere in California or something. So they organize things to wow. get me set. Well, we're calling on that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> we're asking, <laughs> we're calling on that to happen. <laughs> and we're bring God in it too. <laughs> God have his day. Okay, I walk around God. God did it. Yes, sir. We want, you, forget, you forget your, your, your full flowers, right? Yeah, man. Out there yeah. in the mainstream world, you know? Yes. Assuming that you get this, which we. We think you will. Yeah. Um, and the thing now, turn up that way there. Mm -hmm. Would you be carrying all of these caps, wearing all these caps going forward, or are you going to just sort of stick to dance maybe, or no. what? Well, no ending to it in the sky is the limit, because what, what I'm saying, more I grow in this, I have more ability. I could have started with more things, acting, mm -hmm. other things, but I want to make sure I'm carrying people with me. Are teaching them the knowledge at the same time, it's not just for me. Okay. As a certain example for our home. You understand? Because I come from a home that I go through a rough thing, so I know so it's not my home. Your community? Home. Your community? Um, I come from Arnie Garden. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm growing up from Jungle Top, moved to Havana, now I live in Paradise Court, Zimbabwe. So mm -hmm. I'm in Changetown, three but I live in there. Like. Yes. So I'll, are very popular in the community. Right. That's, yeah. I want to know what, what support you're getting from the community. Yeah. How do they feel about you? Yeah. No, um, the example what I'm setting, this is what I'm telling you about now. Yeah. More youth can have more abilities, more mm -hmm. confident, because it's confident kill from them, sometimes doubt. They want to see it happen before they believe, or before them say, yeah. Yeah. Understand? So, me and I all the day in front of their eyes doing this, oh, God, I guarantee by Give a couple more years, a different youth in our garage with them, because them see who was there and what yeah. he was doing. Yeah. You understand? Other people, when they do it, they leave them. Mm -hmm. They cannot learn from them. It's like when you make it their younger eye. Thank God. Yeah, oh, so who for teaching knowledge, not there. They're just there trying to hunt in and people just have tried it. So they want to see you in the flesh, right? Yes. They want you to connect with them yeah. in person for them to be impacted by your success. Right. This is what happening now. Because yes. remember, say, if you have a daughter living in a community and she don't want artists to live on the corner, he was just DJing. And then he got to this big level. You see, confident for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. with that thing about what try music, he make me go wrong and do it. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Enough youth have ability you know, about to kill them, 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 them thoughts. It's like them be a doubt. Like they must say, that's not going to work, man. What you do? You see nobody not going to work. What you do? You understand? Yes, this link thing that so many of these kids, unfortunately, have to believe in. Yeah. Links, links. Who can do it from here? No, man. You, you must do it yourself, yeah. man. I'm right. from here, push out it work at the mind. Yeah. I'm going to find out. But most youth full of doubt. And socials, social media has brought a lot of power. Yes. We can't to the less you. fortunate, right. they should know that. Right. That what never happened for their parents can uh, happen no. for them. Right. Because they have that power. Right. To go they, directly they, to And they have the ability, because yeah. the time where them get to, it's like not one time, slavery is more closer to not really slavery, yes. the type of living is more tighter one time. Now we get more independently, can do things. You understand? Yes. Like owning certain businesses. So now we can be billionaires and help each other more than just fight and kill each other. So we have a song, a new track for you. Yeah. Right away. This is, let me commend you on it. When I see it yet, I hear it. Mm -hmm. But let me commend you on and being so quick to exploit what I go on. Because yeah. with the attention you're getting, that's the right thing to do. Yeah. To, to have something to do. You know. So we are going to give a, a little tease of it and uh, of the track that's next for you. And then 
and that the people get it by next week, right? Alright, just a taste of what's coming very soon in fact. Yeah. That's coming next week from Lord. Yeah. Yes, I. Blessed love. That's always good, Reggie. That's good marketing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Kid That's why man for go out work and I put on things. So when something happen, you're ready to exploit it and drop ready. more work, yeah? Yes. It's, it's like a baggage of wheat for live for a long time. You know, <laughs> feel, the world feel it too, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, the world feel it. When there is a big breakout thing like that, People want to know who that boy is. Yeah, what is see what 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 see more e, things. So don't this, be a this, it's good. <laughs> Let's say you, you've got this is going to answer those questions for them. Yeah, for you. And hold them for a bit. Yes, I keep them know say artists be able to more people don't know so I'll be able to sing it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well baby, we're gonna leave it here, sir. All right. The next time you come and dance and and wreck and sing. <laughs> yeah. DJ. DJ for us, yeah. right, sir. I'll select the Yaga Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time you come, you're going to yeah, exhibit gonna all of you. Yeah, man. You're going to dance, you're going to DJ. You're going to mix everything for you. Everything, man. Right yes, about. we have it. Blessed love, boss. Let's say. Yes, father. All right. All right, so there you have him in this segment of our show, Baby Lord. And stay with us next, Singing Melody. Not only premiering a brand new video, but will also perform for you live on our stage. You don't want to miss that. That's next. On Stage with Winford Williams. This episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Rebel Salute 2024, January 19 and 20 in Priory St. Anne. For tickets and info, visit their website, rebelsalute.com. Singing Melody brings a track that he believes can help bridge the divide between the sexes and improve relationships. He comes to perform that track right here on our stage. Respect singing, Reggie. boss. Yes, I. Let's Still go. singing. Nobody can stop that big voice of yours, boss. The name is Singing Melody. <laughs> singing Melody. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> okay, sir. So this project is, is a very big topic you're taking on. Yes, and I believe it. I've been, I've been pondering around in my head with it for that good time now. And um, last year, I was just looking at how men actually just shadow themselves, just become a ghost in them own self. Like, they will act as if everything is okay when they, it's not, you know? I mean, and they're dying literally and they're not talking about it, you know? Mm. So, it is a thing. And we, we're, not, we're not saying that females are the cause of it. It's, it's, it's both people, it's both, both human beings, male and female that makes up the, the whole relations of how we communicate. But, Men seem to take on so much sometimes and don't take care of themselves. And they don't express as much as all they, they should. So you find that sometimes they just go to the side and go in a dark room or somewhere and everything does come out. And sometimes it, it leads off to end up being violent. Mm -hmm. You see men that people always talk about and say, oh, no, I know this guy and he was always a good guy, but I don't know what happened, you know? Him just snap one day because of the pressure and everything that come against, you know? Men are always seems to be the protector, the provider, the persons who are responsible for the household, the, the queen, tough stuff. The tough the, stuff. The, the, the queen, the, yeah, the tougher the tough things. Stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody expecting to, Every, to be tough and can to be take tough the link and, and the beat and the beat yes. but really and truly men are really fragile too, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. as female, you know, it's just that we have to know how to nurture each other and females have to learn how to deal with them and men have to also learn how to deal with the female side of things. 
you know. So it is both world that needs to come together. That's why I said it's to bridge the gap, you know. Females now need to start talking to their husbands or their boyfriends, start to talk, you know, sit down, have conversation with them. I asked a friend of mine the other day, when last year, girlfriend come to you and said to you, you know, hon, you know what I mean? I just wanted to check in with you. You good? Is everything all right with you? Is there anything you want to discuss? You know, are you okay? How are you feeling? You don't hear these things coming from female that much. You know, and we're not saying that they're not doing it. It's, that, it's just that the majority start to looking at it as if, ah, he's okay, he's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, but literally sometimes men are broken, you know, and they're just there waiting for that moment to snap. So Fragile is a song, and, and, and I think this song, while I was um, brainstorming the idea, I said, you know what, I've been singing love songs for the females um, for decades. You know, I want the new year to catch us trying to put back our household together because we can see things on time has changed and everything is changing, you know. Um, music is not changing, you know. Enjoyment is not changing, but households are changing. Morals, principles, everything are, breaking, are broken down now to literally nothing. So you find that music like these I want to continue making. I know it's not the big money making music like what's happening now with, in the world, but I don't make music just for money. I make music to give people hope mm -hmm. and give them a sense of guidance in such a way what you could say, because that's what music does to us. Even though it's entertainment, sometimes we have some positive music that comes out that really make you think, you know? Mm -hmm. You hear a song and you're like, wow, I'm, I'm going through this, you know? I think I can relate to this, you know? So that's the whole idea with Fragile. So the project is, is not just the art for you? No, it's, it is not. I am no more the artist. Mm. I am now the motivator, the okay. person who wants to see a better world and, and think that there should be a better world. There should be some form of guidance as how we really live our lives. In other words, to make it be meaningful to mm -hmm. us. Because people, are living now, but they're not understanding why they're living. They don't know their roles and responsibilities. They don't even know what they're supposed to do. They're just living day by day. All right, let's pause a little bit and let's allow the music to talk a little bit. <laughs> right here. Come take my heart off, guys, and give me your love. I hope you'll still be there to pick the pieces up. All right, so there you have it, just a taste of Fragile. That's the title of this track. And a video, a full video will be released next week, right? Yeah, but don't go anywhere because you're going to perform the whole thing for I week. can't miss that. The whole song I will perform right here. I have never on been stage. so inspired to perform a song on stage. Yes. You, you notice all the way I come yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, never yeah. really want to perform. I leave yes. it for the youngsters. Yes. You know what I mean? But We've this been doing one, you're this so one. committed to this. Yes. This cause. Yes, sir. So you're trying to, to effect change, I, I think. That's what it is. I'm, I mean, everybody's afraid of it. Are you in, who are you talking to, men or women? Both sides. Both, side. both sides of the fence. Yes. But this has to do with us. Man and man. Man and man. Bridging and bridging. You notice when something happens, mm. and you're bridging them, you really go sit down. A good bridging where you and have. Tell you the whole and thing. tell the whole thing. You're not going to tell a female, mm. because it's just not right. Yes. It just not sit right. So who are we talking to? You ask the question. Yes. We're talking to ourselves. Crazy to think that a man can't hurt. Yes. But love takes its toll every time it don't work. Mm -hmm. One door closes, another open. But it's hard to let go when your heart is broken. I give you my trust, but can you give me your word? You're talking the sound right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got you. So look out for so it. So it is meant to, 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 to heal, to, to bring heal. some, some, some yes. healing and to guide men, to guide men in particular. Or, so it's okay. And, and women too? Yes. About how to treat men? Exactly. But, but, but then men have to know that they can be able to go and, and speak to their, their spouse. Mm -hmm. Talk to your female. You know, tell her how you feel. You know, don't be afraid to do it. 
Because whether you like it or not, you have females who never hear the man say anything to them about how they feel. But them just act it out. Everything is just a show. But really and truly, how do you feel, you know? Do you accept everything that is going on in the household? Because remember, you know, the queen are the most powerful mm. human being on the planet. Anything you give a queen, she will take it and multiply it into many. So if you give her a problem, she give you a tenfold of like that. If you give her love, she bring your child. She bring her youth. They are there for their roles and responsibilities. They know what they're supposed to be doing. But in some cases, most of the time, female lose it to independence. Independency, mm -hmm. as we call it. You know, you talk to girls nowadays, oh, I'm independent, I don't need you. You know, but so, so this there's a, thing, there's a growing passion for independence among women. I'm, I'm on, among women sometimes, but then most of the time, it's about really the relationship, as we're talking about relationships and the problem that it faces during the time you're in, involved with someone. The issues that you go through, how do you deal with them on a daily basis? What has been worked out? Mm -hmm. What is a formula? So you term the, 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 the divide between the sexes. Yeah. But some will say it's now a war between the sexes. No, it is not. What it is is really, I am, con I am, I am saying to you as a man, no, it's okay to express. Don't think that you're a, you're a piece of metal that's hard and cannot be broken. You can. Mm -hmm. Because who else is going to damage you? A female. Men are not here in this world by themselves. They're here to serve females. Everything that we do in our passion and desire, it's all about the females. When we dress nice, not to impress another guy, mm. but you dress because you feel good, but then a female will see and say, well, what a handsome guy, you know, he looks good, he smells good. We do that because we know. We buy a car, yes, we like a nice car. But if a female says it's beautiful, you keep it. Mm -hmm. It's everything is about the female. We're just not accepting, and this is where the world is going now. Gender and certain things is not supposed to be discussed now. Nobody's supposed to discuss gender or male or female. Everybody can just be people. So what are we saying? We're trying to change the rules of how God operates and how God set this world. So man is trying to create them own world into a fake world that is not actually real because there's no way you can bring a child in this world without a female. Mm -hmm. So who is putting up <laughs> <laughs> the biggest resistance to this whole new order, uh, to this whole situation? Who is putting up the resistance? The resistance is... Is it women or men? It's, I think it's both in terms of the world, because it's communication is the major issue here, you know, um, communication. Men don't require that much. They just need a little respect. Mm -hmm. The female side definitely need love, compassion, security, protection, you know, the whole thing. But some would say they don't need you no more. No. They can do, they can do this on their own. Some women that, are saying that. Yes, some. Yes. But you still, and, and that's why the song is important, because we want them to understand that that's not the world that God has created. Mm -hmm. God has created men and women in this world mm -hmm. for a specific reason. Yes. And that reason is to serve each other. That's it. There was a topic early on this week on, on Instagram, and the topic was they're having a meeting, like a, a town hall meeting, and the guy was saying, uh, oh, no, so... Females are equal now, so forget about that. You know, they're equal. So, so they say, well, we have a war coming up, you know, and we think we should send some females over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're equal with us, so send them to war as well. And the man was, the, the female came out and said, no, 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 we can't deal with war. We don't never build for that. So, but you want to be equal. So go, go. The point is, there is a specific reason why God created female. It's to attend to men's need. And likewise, men go to the female for the source as well. Because people have their own understanding about how life's supposed to go, and they just live in the way how they're supposed to live it. 
based upon their experience and what they have been through. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. let's bridge the gap. Take back the thing to basic and understand that there's value in both, okay. male and female. Well, sir, well, you, <laughs> the word is out. <laughs> okay, so let us now go to the music, because you're yes. speaking to us all uh, through yes. music, right? Yes, sir. So let us give you a chance now to express it live right here on our stage, what you're trying to say, your message and everything. In this song that you've, you've come to perform for us, yes, sir. And that's what we're going to leave you to do right now. Fragile. That's it, fragile. <laughs> I remember that you are too. You just not talk. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am, sir. <laughs> they don't know, no, 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 no. So I got to let you know. Crazy to think that a man can't hurt. But love takes its toll every time it don't work. Yes. But door closes, I'm not open. Start to let go when heart's broken. I give you my trust, can you give me your word? Come take my heart of glass and give me your love. I hope you still be there to pick the pieces up. Cause baby, I'm fragile, 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 yeah. you ten times ten oh no 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 could i put you back together again yes when i don't close this i'm not open but i won't let go i'm not like him baby just say the word and let love begin and take my heart of glass and give me your love i hope you still be to pick the pieces up Cause baby I'm fragile, fragile, fragile Yeah Baby I'm fragile, fragile, fragile Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh And with that, this is where we say so long. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more. And by the way, Happy New Year to everyone around the world. Here we go. 
So I got to let you know You want to know, right? It's crazy to think that a man can't hurt But love take its toll every time it don't work Yes My door closes, I'm not open Start to let go with hearts broken I give you my trust, can you give me your word? Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.